Hey everybody, today I decided I was going to get in the kitchen here and we were going to make some fry bread. And you can make just plain old fry bread or you can make fancy fry bread. And we're going to make some fancy fry bread today. So I'm going to bring you around to the, to the pan. And in here I've cut up some bacon. And I've let it go ahead and fry because I didn't think that we wanted to sit around and watch bacon fry. So I don't cook this all the way because it's going to cook a little more unless you like really crispy bacon, which I don't. I used to eat it where it was still squealing but I don't eat it that raw now. You, you can get illnesses and stuff, which you don't want from eating undercooked pork. So I cook it enough. I just don't care for the real crispy. So let me get this last little bit out. Okay, and I'm going to set this over here. Now we have quite a bit of grease left. And I have a grease uh, thing. I'll show you. Right here that I put grease in. You know, people say that's liquid gold and they're not kidding. So I'm going to pour it what I'm not going to use in there. Now, let's get started on our fry bread. I have a bowl. I think I better set this off the burner. There was a little bit of grease on it and it's not a uh, it shouldn't be smoking. Anyway, get you some flour. I'm going to use about a cup's worth of flour. If you like thick, after you lick this, you may have never had it. But if you like thick, if you like thick, Randy, Kaylin, you got to do something with the dog. If you like, I'm sorry. If you like uh, thick bread after you see this, whatever you think. If you think you'd like it thick or make more of this dough. Or thin or just make it thin. <clears throat> but you just take some self-rising flour and some water. Uh, you could use milk. But I don't think milk is as good as water is. And you just stir that up. And you make a, a about the thickness of pudding, maybe. Um, a mixture. And you don't want to beat it to death if it's got lumps in it, that's okay. You just stir it up and that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is put the pan back on the stove. And I'm going to take some of this bacon that I just took out and I'm going to put it back. And you put however much bacon you think you would want on your fry bread. There's no rules. And when your oil has heated back up, then I just kind of thinly lay this out. And then once I get this put, 
I'm going to kind of spread it with my spoon. And I'm going to use about half of this mixture. I'm sorry about the dog. He just thinks he has to bark at everybody and we'll have to figure out something about him when I'm doing a video. But just thin that out. Sometimes the fry bread is a little bit hard to brown. Depends on your pan and your heat and all that. So well okay. Now I want to see if it's getting brown. And it's not as brown as what I want it, so. You will not believe how good this is. It's got such a wonderful taste. And some of that bacon came up to the top just now when I tried to turn it. But anyway, now, while you're waiting on that to brown, take your egg and crack it. I should have had a fork to kind of break it up, but that's okay. But you put your egg on top of there. And that will let it be cooking some. And you want to break your yolk. Spread it out just a little. Just keep letting it go until your one side is as brown as you want it. Um, try to make sure and get it before it starts burning because that's not good. And I hope I can get this turned. I got half of it turned. That's okay. It just, you know what this means? It means that you only have to chew twice as uh, half as much. Because it's already all chewed up for you. And if you have some way of turning it without making a mess, then let us know. If I don't put uh, bacon on it and egg and all that, I will, after it's done, put some garlic salt on it. That's real good. But this is basically, if you can imagine it being in one piece, like a pancake, uh, that's what it looks like. And it tastes like one of the most wonderful, delicious things that you could ever put in your mouth. It's a southern thing. And this used to, or not, I'm sorry, not used to. It uh, has a, another name. And some people call it a ho, H-O cake. And that's not a dirty uh, way of saying it, what it is, is, you know, the hobos didn't have much to eat and had to do like in the depression and just eat as they could. And so they would make not really the fancy 
<laughs> uh, fry bread, but just the plain. And it, they would call it hoe bread because they were hobos eating the inexpensive bread. So I'm going to give it a taste here. I'm going to let this piece cool off a little bit. Okay. Oh my goodness. That is so good. I love that bacon flavor in it. And the egg. I'd only got a little pinch of egg. But it is good. And that, my friends, is hoe cake. I'm sorry that it tore up, but... <clears throat> I'm sure you could do a better job than me getting it flipped over. And if you don't put the egg, it'll flip over easier too. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. This is Scar, S-C-A-R. He is a wonderful boy, very loving and protective. And he does have a little bit of a large mouth like, like his father. But we don't hold it against him. So, anyway, have a great evening. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.